Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dance Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking Primo going Super Saiyan. Damn! Yo, that man has been putting in some work in the gym for sure, man. For sure, bruh. He looking too swole. <laughs> now, I honestly think the weight gain just proves my point more and more that he should be a two guard, man. Let him flex the muscles, man. He more swole than Goku was that time. <laughs> more swole than Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. <laughs> Listen, I could tell by this one photo, he has definitely upgraded his power, man. He got a bigger upgrade than Carlton did that time. You can feel it. But all jokes aside, man, if we're being honest, it's probably the angle of the camera and kind of like the shadow on the back of his arm that's making him look looking making him look so swole, if we're being honest. But clearly he has been putting work in, you know, defining his body, getting bigger, because he was a lot smaller back in the day. So shout out to him for working hard. But I just want to use this video as an opportunity to, you know, you know, press my point of Primo being a two guard, man. You know, I don't want him struggling with the IQ it takes to be a point guard in the NBA. Not saying he doesn't have the capability, not saying he can't be a solid passer, not saying that. I just want the Spurs to develop this dude into a score. I want him to be a bona fide Devin Booker type score and just worry about getting buckets for the most part. And my reasoning behind that has always been very simple, man. I just want him to reach his potential as quickly as possible. Not saying he has to rush, not saying he has to just have this amazing year coming up this year, but I feel like if you put in that whole point guard development stage, you're gonna add an extra year or two to his development. If you put him at the two guard, groom him as a scorer, groom him as a defender, groom him, you know, as a guy that can pass out of the double team, but make him focus on his three point shot on his mid range on battling through screens. Looks like his physique is growing so he can battle through screens. He can run the Steph Curry. He can run the Rip Hamilton from back in the day and just run, 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 run through screens, get open, hit the open basket. I think that's his game and I think that's what's gonna make him into a star. So let's not spend time trying to develop, you know, his passing ability where he's a eight, nine assist man in this league you know that may come down the line but i will focus in on his scoring first especially seeing that we do have a player like blake wesley and then honestly if you saw my other video about scoot scoot is a big possibility for the spurs next season as does as you know the point guard of the future so groom primo as a two guard man i'm telling you man his skill set is there he has that kobe ishness to his game to his swagger let him develop that and we can worry about making him a facilitator at another juncture because at the end of the day i think this is a very important year for primo now like i said earlier he doesn't have to have these out of world numbers he doesn't have to have this out of body experience but i do think he needs to take a semi leap to build his confidence okay you know this season is going to be a weird season there's going to be a whole lot of losing you know we're in the semi tank mode so you don't want primo to lose his confidence trying to run the point guard you know being the main point guard for a losing team like that you know he could still play the point guard here and there but i'd rather groom him as a two guard man let him work on his his game and on the offensive end you know this is a year for experimentation this is the year to see what you have this is a year for growth i will put him out there let it get let him get his butt kicked a few nights and just grow and get better and become a true scorer or someone who is confident in their shot not saying he isn't confident now but he can always take a leap to more confidence and i think that's important this is the year of confidence building for our guys Keldon, Vassell, Primo and I want to see it. Alright guys that's it for this one short one today just want to talk about that swole pick and give my thoughts about him playing the two guard. Catch me in the comments and thanks for watching. Peace.